Greetings. Um, I came across something last night that uh, brought up an idea. Um, it's really a lesson in itself, but what I want to do is just, uh, since I've seen it in a, a format after church, uh, I wanted to uh, just bring it up as kind of like a, a person to person conversation. Uh, and it, of course, uh, I've got my grandma's Bible. <laughs> this is a picture. Yeah, love my grandma. Uh, she, and I received her Bible. And uh, she, guys, she didn't, she didn't even make it through grade school, basically. She didn't make it junior high, none of that. Never had a driver's license. She helped start five churches, three for a fact. And helped start uh, Teen Challenge in California. So, you know, she, she had a desire and she didn't let those things uh, limit her. Because she loved God. She had that personal relationship, and I, I love that about her. She, uh, her Bible at one time uh, was given to uh, J. E. Yandel, and uh, a lot of the Free Will Baptists know know him, and uh, he gave it to her, and it was given to him in 1950. Uh, so she she put herself in a position with people that that loved God and um, that's how she achieved a lot of what she did she was focused but back to the the conversation I seen last night uh, the what came to my mind is just a lesson in itself and it's probably just parts 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 but um, a young lady was talking to somebody and and she's she's craving God at this time in her life and it's a good thing uh, but what I was thinking of when she was speaking uh, God's personhood he he's got a mind he he's got a will and he's got emotions and and we've seen that our our example in the Bible is Jesus you know we've seen him tired we've seen him upset we've seen him you know ask why why do you need these things so much and why aren't you uh, full of the faith to do this yourself and things like that and uh, he was a purpose person he went where he went on as as he always mentioned his father told him our father had him to do it the Holy Father but when it comes to the personhood uh, I'm going to use the term general, and, and I don't mean just general to take value from the Bible and God's Word or God's uh, emotions or any His personhood, but I, when I talk about general, I'm going to be talking about population, general population. Um, so His will, on, on the topic of His will, in, in general, uh, we have the Bible for for example, the Ten Commandments tells us what His will is for us. And on the personal, uh, His voice. Take the job or not take the job. Uh, this It's two different things, but the same. Uh, and by doing the general, it puts you in a position for the personal. You know, hearing God's voice. Uh, you have to be in the general to, to conduce, be conducive to hearing his voice is like my grandmother I was talking earlier where she uh, started the churches and a lot of the reason was was she wanted to be around Christians and one way to do it was start a church so she could hang out with them and uh, that brought her closer to hearing God's voice and and what it what it feels like and seems like to other people then it was like yes I've seen that so so that's how she she learned from from those experiences but when it comes to God's mind uh, I, I look at the purpose you know God's purpose for us and uh, going going to church is, is part of his will also but it's it's his purpose for us and, and it's to to be edified and and for what I'm looking at is it puts us in a position 
by being there, it puts us in the position like the like Brittany last night when she was uh, talking to Joseph. Uh, she was in the general will of God. She was in the general mind of God, and God spoke to her through Joseph, and um, she was in the position to give and receive. You know, it, to 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 give to the Holy Spirit to someone else to channel it is is a a reward um, so he was excited about it that she would uh, speak with him about it and and she received so in in any situation you know just even when you're busy not busy just take a moment from time to time um ask god what his general purpose and will and mind and emotions are about a situation and then to ask him the personal what do you want to speak to me about? What do you want to show me? What's the experience that you have in front of me? Uh, like NASA, when you look at the, the universe, there's always pictures that speak to you. Uh, the, you know, nothing else, beauty, and, and it's a moment to stop, you know. And I'm going to uh, close by, I usually say something positive or a blessing. Um, I'm gonna close this one with a prayer and um, Jesus we press close to you to hear your voice and we press close to you to feel you your presence and we press close to you to grab your garment and to hold it in our hands a healing father that others may be healed and we may be healed so we can experience you and your will and your your personhood. Um, we we know it makes it gives you joy, Father, and that's that's our desire. In Jesus Christ's name, Amen.